Good morning, fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, coming to you with a morning market preparation video for June 12th, 2018. Well, hey everyone, yesterday we had those bulls actually pushing higher. Kind of surprising after so many days up, but they, they just did not want to give up. Pushed on higher yesterday, and we happened to test this resistance level that I've marked here on the chart. We rallied right up there, gave it a quick kiss, and pulled away from it at the end of the day, leaving behind a little bit of an indecisive candle here um, on the day. Nothing major here, no real threat. Um, remember, any candle... Uh, pattern any candle signal requires follow through to confirm and this morning we are getting a little bit of downside follow through um, the futures being actually pretty darn flat to just slightly down and remember we have um, with with that historic agreement now being signed by uh, the US and North Korea we can now kind of focus our attention toward the FOMC and the tensions between the US and Canada uh, on the trade negotiations. So the market is just a little bit tentative ahead of the FOMC, not exactly sure how to deal with some of the uncertainty that seems to be swirling about. So a little bit of indecision is not um, not a major problem. Now remember that indecisiveness doesn't necessarily mean that we have to swing lower. We could in fact push down here test that 25,000 level, but we could also just consolidate right here. And who knows where, where we're actually going to go, but let's keep in mind that that indecisive day does not necessarily mean selling is coming into play. Remember, trend is still up and momentum of this trend still seems to be in play. So let's keep that in mind as we plan our day forward. Taking a look at the SPY, 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 also leaving that indecisive camera, uh, candle up here, uh, more of a what's considered a gravestone doji pattern, which would be considered a bearish pattern if we get follow through to the downside. So we need to have a follow through to the downside to confirm that candle but let's keep in mind that the range of that candle was pretty small and a consolidation could certainly be in the cards here or again we could look for that pullback to try and find support for those buyers to step back in but we are still in our uptrend our uptrend is still holding strong our momentum of this move is strong and all we did was run up here and gave that resistance level right there that i've drawn in a little bit of a kiss and pulled away from it so nothing nothing here that's been a real big surprise we've stayed nice and strong in the market and there's nothing yet in this chart that is suggesting bullishness or bearishness there's nothing um nothing here that would suggest that the market is just going to roll over there is however reason for some caution now let's take a look at the cues on the we have the diamonds and the spy showing just a little bit of caution coming into the market, but we don't see that in the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ maintaining itself, holding up well and actually producing a positive result by the end of the day yesterday, pushing back up there toward those new record highs, maintaining its trend and showing good strength in its price action. So we have a little bit of a conundrum here. We have the diamonds and the spy showing a little bit of bearishness, uh, potentially a little bit of pullback or rest possible. And the cues here showing some pretty substantial strength and actually lending a, a little bit of, um, well, shall I say, hope that this is more consolidation than pullback that we could slip sideways as we rest here for a little while. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also kind of slipping sideways, just kind of parked here, kind of happy up here at this high level, just resting. 
I'm trying to take in the view, I guess, and uh, wait for new inspiration, whether it's going to move up or down. But let's keep in mind, trend is still very bullish here. So across the four indexes, we are still in a bullish trend. Momentum continues to still be in the favor of the bulls. We have the diamonds and the spiders showing a little bit of uncertainty in IWM and the Qs showing more consolidation than fear of of a sell-off <clears throat> so consequently the market being flat this morning shouldn't be a real big surprise and it really shouldn't be a big surprise to see the market if it does pull back a little bit of profit taking come into the market shouldn't be a big surprise after such a big move up in the market <clears throat> let's take a look at the vix now, the VIX, you would think, would be giving us some clues here, um, a little fear coming in, a little bit of um, <clears throat> complacency maybe coming in, and we're getting nothing out of the VIX whatsoever. The VIX seems to be, well, just kind of content with where it is, um, holding on here around that 12 handle area. And just kind of parking here so we'll have to watch this really close a spike in here obviously could could mean fear coming into the market um and you know if we get some kind of good news or something out of the fomc um you know suggesting that um, they are going to stop their balance sheet reduction sooner than expected that is the speculation by the way that um, the market could react very positive to, to that um, it's largely expected we're going to see a, a rate increase tomorrow but there is a wild speculation right now that there could be a change in the fomc policy so um, don't be at all surprised if we see a light volume choppy type day too with all of these things circulating and swirling around the market may be just content to just stay where it is for the moment and wait now <clears throat> when we talk about that um, I, I want to be a little bit more cautious personally and now this is this is a personal thing but um, I tend to lean toward that more conservative side when it comes to um, uncertainty in the market and I have some really nice profits in trades that we are in so ahead of that FOMC you might um, you might see me uh, starting to pull some of those profits out of the market to protect myself just around that uncertainty of that event if we look at t2122 here you can see there is some reason for that or possible concern for that because we're up here ranging around that uh, bearish reversal zone now this certainly is not an indication that we're just set to fall right here we could certainly catch more rally here and keep going higher there's room to go higher but we've been uh, fiddling around up here for a while giving me uh, the belief that we could easily start turning lower as well so i may start taking some of those profits out reducing some of my risk ahead of the fomc that's just part of my plan it's not a recommendation that you would have to do but just part of my plan because i have some pretty large gains uh, being held right now in my account let's take a quick look at the economic calendar you can see on the economic calendar today at 8 30 a.m eastern we have the consumer price index that's the thing that could really move us around this morning <clears throat> right now it's kind of expected to come in as just mildly higher um, we'll have to wait and see what it actually comes in at, but I, it, it may not move us all that much um, considering um, where the consensus is expecting it to be. We have um, Red Book and, and a couple uh, bond auctions here today and then the Treasury budget, which is expected to show a deficit today. So not a big surprise there either. Um, we only have about 25 companies reporting earnings today. Um, nothing... Um, um, of major importance you know we have like uh, lands and reporting this morning it looks like they reported well this morning and we have like each in our block uh, reporting this afternoon so um, overall nothing really major in the earnings department that is going to move us around so as we um, 
as we dance around this FOMC meeting, keep in mind that the, the tensions in the trade negotiations have been growing between the U.S. and Canada. And if um, we get some kind of news that either improves or worsens that situation, um, we could expect the market to react significantly to that. So kind of keep that in mind and stay focused on price action. Um, you know, that's that's my always, uh, my number one go-to is stay focused on price action because that's where I find clues on direction and how I'm able to pick out trades and be um, as effective as as I am in, in um managing positions by staying focused um, on that price action. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Be a little bit cautious and careful. Don't be surprised if the market is just a little bit flat today. Um, and also don't be surprised if we see a little bit of profit taking uh, come into play. Um, I wish you all a great day, a profitable day. And if this is the first time you've seen this information, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and please, please, please feel free to drop a comment if you feel the video is worthy and share this video with any friends and family that you might think could benefit. Also, um, always remember that if you would like to learn a little bit more, if you look in the description of the video, there is always a link to my morning blog post and you're certainly all welcome to that everyone have a great day take care of yourselves and we will talk to you all soon bright and early tomorrow morning have a good one